hi everyone thank you for tuning in in today's recipe i will be showing you how to cook jimiri okum special pepper soup meant for new mothers i am rosie and you are welcome to my kitchen and these are the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe and these two ingredients here are the main active ingredients for this recipe you will need dry shrimps or crayfish all these are leaves i have the dried one you can use the fresh ones dried fish and you don't use fresh fish for this recipe i will be using stock fish as well you will need yam salt to taste and no mangi is needed for this recipe this pepper soup is known to help cleanse the womb after having a new baby it also helps with breast milk flow and this pepper soup here if you're planning to conceive you do not need this pepper soup and if you are in your early stage of pregnancy you do not need this pepper soup as well so this is the uda i took out the seed from the uda because the seeds are bitter and it can ruin the taste of the pepper soup i will be grinding the uda and the oziza seed with a dry grinder grind it until it's smooth you can also use a mortar to pound it as well and once that is done i will transfer it off the grinder and i will grind the shrimps as well once that is smooth i will put that aside in a bowl i will transfer the dried fish and i'll be soaking it with hot water in another bowl i will transfer the dried oziza leaves and soak it as well if you are using the fresh one all you need to do is wash it and it's good to go next i will cut and peel the yams and i'm going to be peeling the yams off camera and that is done i will divide the yams into two And transfer the cut yam inside water and I'll be washing that off camera and that is done the stock fish is be cooking now for some time I will check it to see if it's soft enough and the stuffed fish can easily fall apart now so it's ready i'll be adding the dried fish which is nicely clean the blended shrimp blended oziza seed and uda washed and cut yams and i'll add some more water stir and this recipe does not call for mangi i will add some salt to taste cover and leave it to cook until the yam is tender this should take between 15 to 20 minutes next i will check if the yam is ready i'll give that a stir i 
I'll be finishing it up with the Ozuza leaves. The Ozuza leaves and the seed are very spicy. So when you're using it, be sure to taste it first before you add more pepper to it. Jimiryo kun can also be enjoyed with rice and pounded yam. I'll leave it to cook for about two to five minutes and it's ready. So we normally serve it with yam on the side and the soup on the other side. Thank you so much for watching. Remain blessed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.